tonight we are having coconut chicken. Basically all this is is almond flour, coconut shreddings or shavings or something, salt and egg. And then I'm also making a spinach basil uh, salad. So I've got everything chopped up over here ready to go for there's the basil and then the spinach you just throw in. This is the second time we have had coconut chicken and it was really good the first time. I actually don't care for coconut but it's funny since I have started doing um, this meal plan I'm able to eat it <laughs> and so I'm thankful for it. Sadly our children are having a um, nor pasta dish because I have not mastered the art of making two decent meals because our children will of course not eat coconut chicken. I call this a western scramble. It's supposed to be an omelet um, but I don't like making omelets and so I just make this one into a scramble. I'm gonna add so I've got um, green peppers, red peppers, and onion, and I'm going to add some ham, and then eggs and spinach to this. And there you have it, the Western Scramble, because Halo is too lazy to make an omelet. Yeah. All right, this morning's breakfast, fried eggs with sweet potato hash. Good morning. Good morning. And we have sold a canoe. Yes, we have. Having ourselves a little roasted asparagus tonight. Yum. It bakes at 400 for 10 minutes and then you drop it down to 250 and bake it for 15. Yum yum. Alright, you are looking at a disaster. <laughs> Take a look at the mess. Oh, my kitchen is a disaster. Look at this. Okay. Alright, over there doesn't look quite as bad, but uh, this over here is horrific. Anyway, this is the ingredients for a Thai chicken wrap. There you go. It's pretty easy. Just You're supposed to grill a chicken. I baked it. And then this Napa cabbage. I'd never heard of it. And so we got that. And broccoli, carrots, and green onion. And there you have it. Cilantro. Num num. You are looking at grilled flank steak with a pineapple salsa. Mm -mm. We're becoming culinary geniuses. Grilled pineapple salsa. It is grilled, yes. Look at that. Okay, all we're doing is following recipes, but man, it still looks really good.
Hey everybody, I am taking a quick walk to go and find my children. They're at the back of the property somewhere. I've been hollering from the house for a little bit and they are not answering so I thought I would just do a quick update on uh, how my week is going. Uh, so far it's been a, a decent week. I did have a cheat snack. I had some um, popcorn with a movie the other night. Uh, it wasn't the movie. We're a movie. We were watching um, The Waltons. It's uh, Amazon Prime. So anyway, we've been watching The Waltons. Uh, so I had some popcorn, which, you know, we don't have butter or anything on our popcorn, so it's not much of a cheat. Aha. <laughs> Somebody's always happy to see me. Hey, boy. So, is this something Grandpa would approve of? A bird's nest? So, what are you going to do? Poke it out? Oh. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Huh? Look at that. Uh, how'd that bottle get there? Where? I don't know. We've had some incredible winds out here. Uh, look, they've been so strong they blew a whole bunch of metal over here by the trees. No, that was us. That was us. I know. <laughs> Daddy, this old paddle that's broken. Oh, I'm sure Daddy will appreciate that. Hey, we found it in there. I think that's actually an oar. An oar? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does look like an oar. Yep. All right, let's get this bird's nest out. Bird's nest has been relocated. There we go. Oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Like all of the junk that they have pulled out of the old shed, they uh, are going to create and build stuff with it, and I am not sure my dad is okay with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Disciple and I are really busy um, getting some things together for our next big adventure, and he's going to have a an announcement on his channel about what that is uh, coming out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm holding steady at about 14 pounds that I've lost, um, so I'm happy with that. And this weekend we are going to head down to see some friends, which will be nice. We haven't seen them um, all winter. I don't think we've seen them since Christmas. So it'll be nice to get to go down there for a little bit. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. So apparently there is a halo out on the trail this year. Um, it is a gentleman. He has a trail journal on you know, trailjournal.com, you can find him there. Uh, so the halo that is out there is not me. It is not my turn to through hike the AT yet. Uh, when it is my turn, I promise to shout that from the rooftops and um, everybody will know it. Just as I suspected, doing nothing. <laughs> so all of these clothes are clothes that I cannot fit into right now. They have been piled up there, um, stacked in stuff, uh, some of that's Caleb's schoolwork and things. But anyway, it's all been stacked up there. And so now it's all down here and I'm going through it because I can actually wear some of these clothes. But, like, this is a shirt that I don't want to get rid of because um, I can't wait to be able to fit into it again one day. And so I'm putting it over there. But my current conundrum is I can wear this shirt again, which I'm super excited about, the sweater. But the pants that I'm currently wearing, I can wear, I can button them, but I can't wear them with that shirt. It's one of those kind of deals where you can button the jeans, but you have to wear a sweatshirt with it. So do I wear my sweater 
that I can finally fit into again, but have to wear it with my bigger size pants, or do I wear my skinnier jeans? Because I can. I just don't know. I'm so torn. So, I went with the purple. Alright, H2O is getting ready to drive me to the store. Apparently we're out of milk. We just got the heavy Chevy back from getting uh, repaired. Again, this poor thing. Anybody want a 2004 Suburban? It's only got a couple of miles on it. A <laughs> hundred thousand. A couple hundred thousand. <laughs> what do you think of driving the old Suburban? I don't know, it's weird. I only drove it once and it broke down, so. <laughs> That's right. She's got all sorts of new parts on her now. And uh, H2O is going to get to drive her while we are gone this summer on the adventure that Disciple still has not announced. And how excited are you to be here and not having to go with us wherever we're going? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a... It's weird, because, like, you guys are going to get to go to wherever you're going. <laughs> and I've never been to wherever you're going. But hopefully you'll get to come visit, right? Yeah. And also I'll be getting money. So. Yes, and he's going to stay and work. We're getting ready to head out the door, but I wanted to go over really quick um, a couple of my goals that I have gotten set for myself. My first goal is um, when I lose, I think it's like five more pounds. When I get to a certain weight, I am going to go and get my hair cut. I have not cut my hair since um, my husband resigned um, the last church that he served at. And so I'm really ready to get it cut. I, I miss my short hair. I miss how easy it is to take care of. I'm, I'm really tired of my hair always being in my face. So that's my first goal. My second, and this one is much further down the way, but I have this dress here. And the year that Disciple and I ran our half marathons, look at my kids' beds, isn't that nice? Uh, the year that my husband and I ran our half marathons, um, I was able to wear that dress during the summer. And so... My goal is to be able to get back down to um, wear that dress comfortably. I'm really excited. And then the other goal that I have, which should happen right after I hit um, uh, the, being able to wear the, the summer dress, is this dress here. Now, this is just a brown dress. It looks kind of plain or whatever, but I have never been able to wear this dress. And I got it that same year. But during that year, I started putting on weight again, and so I was never able to wear that dress. But the cool thing about that dress is I have got some of the, I'm just going to say, the sexiest boots ever. And I cannot wait to be able to wear those boots because they are so cute. Uh, and anyway, so I can't wait for that. I got it the Christmas of that year, and I had started packing on some of the weight and never was able to to come back down enough to be able to wear it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next week. That's sad. That's really sad. <laughs>